In this video, we're talking about how sitting down is bad for you, why it is bad for you, and some techniques and methods to counter the bad effects of sitting down. Our bodies weren't made to sit down for 5 to 10 hours a day. Also, when we sit for such long periods of time, we are prone to slip into bad postures, which leads to neck aches, shoulder impingement, lower and upper back pain. When you sit, remember four points. Knees at 90 degrees, so that your feet are supporting you. Your hips, neutral, not too anteriorly tilted, and not too posteriorly tilted. Your shoulders right above your hips. And imagine a string pulling your head up so that you are looking straight ahead. Have whatever you are looking at elevated to eye level. So just a recap for good sitting posture, four points, one, two, three, and four, and then have whatever you're looking at elevated to eye level. This is the right way to sit, but it is okay to relax from your perfect posture and stretch out a little. As perfect as you are, let yourself go and live a little. Also, make it a habit to stand up every 20 minutes, stretch out and have a walk. This not only helps you keep a better posture when you sit, but also will improve your effectiveness when you work. I would even recommend swapping it around. Start using a standing desk. A standing desk or anything that can bring your screen up to eye level. Then sit for occasional rests. A study done by Alamin et al. in 2018 showed that sitting down puts 50% more pressure on the spine than standing up. They tested this by measuring the average height of the spinal discs in different positions. The spine has vertebrae and rubbery shock absorbing discs in between. These books represent the vertebrae and this ball represents the rubbery discs. A smaller average disc height meant that there was more pressure put on the spine. A larger average disc height meant that there was less pressure on the spine. When the subjects were sitting down, their average disc height was lower than when they were standing up. Therefore, they concluded that sitting down puts more pressure on the spine than standing up. Furthermore, when we sit for such long periods, our muscles that are in shortened positions get tight and cause you to walk in anterior pelvic tilt. This is when your pelvis tilts forward when we stand or walk or are in resting positions, which can cause lower back pain and many other problems. The main muscles that get tight are the hamstrings that flexes the knee and extends the hip and the hip flexors which are the psoas major, iliacus and rectus femoris. The hip flexors, as the name suggests, flexes the hip. When we sit, our glutes or our bum muscles which mainly work to extend the hip are basically relaxed and when we don't use our butt muscles, they become underactive and weakened, which also causes anterior pelvic tilt, which as we mentioned before, leads to back pain and so many other problems. If anterior pelvic tilt is indeed your problem, then here are some ways to counter this. Firstly, stand up more. Take 20 minute breaks. When you take breaks, stretch out your hip flexors and your hamstrings, and also strengthen your glutes. To stretch your hip flexors, 
Get into this kneeling position. Cushion your knees if this hurts your knees. Then posteriorly tilt your pelvis. Reach up and lean back a little. You want to take deep breaths when you're stretching your muscles. And you should feel the stretch in the front of your hip. Hold it for 15 seconds and switch sides. Repeat two to three times. To stretch your hamstrings, get into this position and reach down to the ground. You should feel the stretch at the back of your leg and hold it for 15 seconds and two to three times as well. After some stretching, do some glute strengthening. This is strengthening of your butt muscles. Strengthen your lazy butt, you lazy butt. Get into a lying position, then bring your hips up. You want to push from your heels and squeeze your bum muscles at the top. You want to really squeeze when you extend your hips. You can either do repetitions of 10 or hold for a minute for 3 sets. Make this your daily routine. Stand up every 20 minutes, stretch and strengthen. SSS Stand up, stretch, strengthen. If you really like the video, like, subscribe and turn on notifications. And selfies taken while standing up get almost 50% more likes than selfies taken while sitting down. And the Bible with 783,137 words does not even mention the word chair once. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm.